We just finished our tour of the Charter Institute's new school at Erskine. It's going to be ready for students this fall. Really exciting. I mean, this has been a project that they got construction on a massive site here done in just 14 months. I had a chance to meet some of the students that will be attending this, the people who actually, with their own initiative, led the creation of this charter school. One of the things that stood out to me was, should be an obvious point for everybody, is that they won't be shackled by some of the same constraints as public schools because their teachers won't be unionized. What Randy Weingarten is doing to teach public schools across this country is a shame. Seizing power for those teachers' unions, holding our public schools and our children hostage. If that's the way it's going to work, then we're going to have to find alternatives to that system. Charter schools like this one set a shining example. And I'm encouraged that they're also unconstrained by the cultural constraints that stop schools from engaging in civic education. They said they're going to have a portrait of George Washington right there kneeling. A famous moment of U.S. history. I think that's exactly what the kids are going to see when they walk in every day to feel proud of the country that they're growing up to be a part of. We need more of that, and this is what's going to breathe this civic lifeblood back into our culture. If you can't beat the teachers' unions, we're going to avoid them. Now, if I'm running the federal government, we're actually going to solve that problem, too. Another thing we're going to do is to shut down the toxic U.S. Department of Education that actually is poisoning local schools, but it's going to take citizens like this who have created this institution to be able to breathe life back into our education system. I'm energized to kick off our day in South Carolina with a stop like this. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Thanks a lot.